It's been a while since we last met, Mr. Nakahara. Hey, man, we used to be in the same class, didn't we? No need to be all formal just because I'm the CEO now. Huh, is it even okay for you to be hanging out in such a fancy spot like this? FYI, Keiji's the one who owns this place. <laughs> he, he owns this place? <laughs> Chances are, he makes triple what you do, even though you're the CEO. Ah, uh, I haven't heard from him in a week! And my business is... Looks like you're facing some problems, huh? I'm Keiji Sato. I manage hostess bars. Hmm? Is that guy... You're not the best at responding and engaging in the conversation, are you? I... I'm sorry. I mean, I'm cool with it, but to make it in this world, you know what I'm getting at, right? Sir, would you prefer a different hostess instead? Duh, obviously. Gets me Saki, the top hostess to come here. Hold up. What? Keiji, is that you I see? It's been a while since we last met, Mr. Nakahara. Hey, man, we used to be in the same class, didn't we? No need to be all formal just because I'm the CEO now. Oh, speaking of which, your family background, wasn't it kinda not so good? Huh, is it even okay for you to be hanging out in such a fancy spot like this? Oh, uh, I'm not here as a customer. Wait, are you here to do some cleaning? Or are you here for a waiter and bouncer interview or something? You're the CEO, but you're not so good at judging people, Mr. Nakahara. What do you mean? FYI, Keiji is the one who owns this place. <laughs> he, he owns this place? <sighs> Chances are, he makes triple what you do, even though you're the CEO. Come on, don't be rude to our customer, Yui. <sighs> but... Hey! I've never seen a hostess like you speak so disrespectfully to a customer. He makes triple what I make? Huh. No way a hostess bar owner who doesn't even bother educating his staff is making that much. Besides, this place is pretty cramped and... In case you didn't know, this is Keiji's hostess bar, branch number three. It's set up to be more budget-friendly and approachable. That's why most of us hostess girls here are just starting out. Oh, oh, really? Yet you won't stop whining. For those who really know how to enjoy themselves, it's obvious that this place is filled with beginners. If you carried yourself like a big company, you wouldn't be here at our bar with our prices. What? what the heck? You little... Just because you're a newbie doesn't mean you'll get away with it so easily. Excuse me? Whether she's a newbie or not, is it really okay to speak about other people like that? Huh? Are you really a CEO with those dirty shoes? They look pretty messy. W what in the world? So, you come here a lot. But your reputation isn't the best. Normally, the high-end customers know how to truly enjoy themselves here. No, no way! Is it true that I have a pretty bad reputation around here? Oh, absolutely. You're constantly bargaining for lower prices when you pay, and keeping plenty of champagne bottles without ever finishing them. You don't even make an effort to pay in advance, even when you bring your VIP clients to our bar. Plus, you're constantly trying to outdo us hostesses. Yeah, that's not what a dependable CEO would do. But, but that's just my personality shining through. Isn't it a bit much to be saying all that to the customer? Hey, as a bouncer and waiter, it's your responsibility to handle these issues before they reach this point. You should be the one to point out these things, shouldn't you? If you don't take care of these girls, then who else will? Ah, I'm sorry. Hey, quit teasing Mr. Nakahara. He's my guy, remember? Oh, look who's here. It's Misaki, the top hostess around. I knew you'd understand me. Hey, Yui. You're still a rookie with no skills. So pretending to be better than everyone will just make people hate you. I'm s sorry. Ugh, 
I seriously can't believe you went and took Mr. Nakahara without giving me a heads up. He, he asked for me to be his hostess and serve him. That's why. And Keiji? Don't act like you own the place only when it's convenient for you. Especially when you barely show up here. Ugh, the pace sucks, and I'm putting in all my effort. Hold up, what? Misaki, the number one getting paid so little? That's unacceptable! You're gonna lose her for sure if you keep managing the bar like that, Keiichi! Doesn't bother me at all. Say what? This place is meant for the customers, not for us to goof around in. And the pay is low for a specific reason. Hey, Misaki, if you want to negotiate for higher pay, maybe try being more humble with the customers. But, but that's just me being me. Yeah, yeah, she's right. It's pretty mean to say that to Misaki. And you as well. As a waiter or bouncer, it's important not to show favoritism toward the hostess girls by spoiling them. Kate, you warned me that hostess bars like that don't last long. I'm not giving anyone special treatment, though. Okay, I get it now. Calm down, guys. Let's not argue with each other. Internal conflicts are bad for business. And avoiding confrontations like you leads to no communication and only trying to figure out what others are thinking and worrying about their opinions. You're such a superficial CEO. I've heard of your company, but it's not known for being great. There's too much personal decision-making going on, and that's not sustainable for the company. Sh shut up! I'm never stepping foot in this bar again! Haha, <laughs> sure, whatever you say. Hmm... Man, that was a total nightmare. I'll go get a drink somewhere else. Hey, you're Mr. Nakahara, right? Hmm, and you are? One month later... Thanks a lot for everything. Thank you for all the support. It's a shame to see you two leave. Hey, guys. I've come to pick you both up. Starting tomorrow, you guys will be part of the Doki Doki Bar. This is Mr. Sasaki, our amazing manager. Hello there. It's been a while since we last met, KG. Oh, Mr. Sasaki, are you starting a new bar? Yeah, Mr. Sasaki, who's opened a bunch of popular bars, pitched me a fantastic idea. He wants me, the genius, to invest in our new hostess bar. Oh, so you basically pounced on a sweet deal, huh? Hey, don't phrase it like that. Mr. Sasaki and I are creating a hostess bar that's never been seen before. It's a win-win situation for both customers and the bar staff, making everyone happy. He's willing to pay me three times more than what I make now and double the perks your bar gives, Keiichi. Same here. Ah, I see. That's wonderful for you both, but... But... Listen up, everyone. If something has never been done before, there's always a reason for it. Do you think a bar like that will be a huge success? We're eager to find out. That's what Keiichi always says. <laughs> exactly. All right, well, best of luck. <laughs> if you lose your customers, don't come crying. It's a battle between our hostess bars. But is this really fine? To be honest, our whole bar team is contemplating moving to his bar. Oh, is that right? If they want to switch to his bar, that's fine. You're welcome to join them as well, Yui. Oh, quit saying things like that. I really want to learn from you, Keiji. Thanks. It's actually better not to switch to his bar. Because I've heard some bad things about Mr. Sasaki. Oh, seriously? You'll find out soon enough. After that, many hostess girls and bar staff switched over to Mr. Nakahara's bar from a few different bars, not just mine. Hmm. Is this really going to be all right? And six months later... All right, we're jam-packed with customers every single day. Hmm, I must be making loads of money now. Wait, what's going on? M mr Sasaki! Hey, our bar is packed every day, but we're not seeing the profits we should be. What's up with that? Hmm, 
What's the rush, Mr. Nagahara? Chill out. You're well aware that it takes time for businesses to see results, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm aware of that, but... Seriously? It's been just three hours since our bar started serving. <sighs> so what? Going back home now won't affect my position as the best hostess anyway. F fine Thanks a bunch. Hey, hey, what's up with all those shopping bags? Everyone was asking me to pick up things for them, so I did. Are you serious? Wait, Wait this, this might, might be, be really, really bad. Another six months later... Hey, have you spotted Mr. Sasaki around? Hmm? Nope, I haven't come across him. Uh, I haven't heard from him in a week. And my business is... Looks like you're facing some problems, huh? Mr. Sasaki is probably caught up with managing a hostess bar in Hokkaido at the moment. H hokkaido This makes it five bars that have gone out of business for him, doesn't it? W what are you talking about? It's just basic business logic to avoid jumping into deals that seem too good to be true. I know exactly where you messed up. You got those popular hostess girls from different bars, including Misaki. But your profits didn't increase. Why do you think that is? It's just plain logic. When the base pay is good, us hostess girls tend to slack off a bit. Go. Nope. Look at Misaki sitting over there, legs crossed, thinking she's all that. The customers don't look too happy either. Usually, we hostess girls get paid depending on how well we do. So we put in a lot of effort to make sure our customers keep coming to our bar. But if the base pay increases, our drive drops. Now let's check out how your finances are doing on paper. Aha! Seems like a few of the hostess girls are keeping their sales under wraps. Ah, they're keeping their sales under wraps? What do you mean by that? It seems like the money hostesses make from hanging out with customers after work is much less than what's being reported. And the person managing this is... You. It seems like you're in charge of the entire floor now, not just waiting tables and working as a bouncer. You've always been too easy on us, hostess girls. You call that being too easy? I call it being scared and not handling your responsibilities. Those types of folks always get manipulated and lied to. I already pointed this out to you previously. You! What have you done? I... I'm so sorry, but those hostess girls can be super intimidating when they're mad. It's no surprise they don't show you respect. Hmm, such a shame. How did you not see this, Mr. Nakahara? If you just dump all the work on someone else and sit back, this is what happens. That's why I make it a point to inspect my bars regularly. And that's not the end of it. You're a mediocre entrepreneur, if I'm being generous. Mediocre? But, but I'm still making some kind of profit. Your advice could really help me improve this bar. Nope, not with the way you handle money. See this water here? There's a problem. Can you figure it out? Huh? Uh, could it be that we bought some low-grade water? No, you're wrong. I spotted some boxes in the garbage earlier. You're getting this water from regular stores, right? If you're a sharp business owner, you look for these items at a lower price from smaller suppliers. Your careless accounting leads to lower profits and a lack of focus on details. You, you don't need to be so critical. Seeing you fail was a good learning experience for me. See, I told you. Letting him fail was the right call. Yeah, KG, you're absolutely right. Hey, what's going on? Uh, remember what I said? No talking close to my dress. Your breath is coming onto my dress and it's irritating the customers here. Wh what's the problem now, Misaki? These girls are ignoring everything I say. Yep, that's a typical sign that a bar is going downhill. When the hostess girls and staff start making their own rules and clicks, it's a bad idea. Keiji was constantly offering you advice and repeating himself to you, Misaki, but you just didn't take it in. Uh, who cares? You're not part of this place, so mind your own business. Yeah, that's true. You're not the top hostess anymore, so I guess you don't need my advice. 
Oh, by the way, a customer from my store was complaining about you the other day. Gossip travels quickly in this industry. A single bad rumor can ruin you. What? Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right about everything. I'll overcome this setback. Watch me. I, I'm gonna. Hate to break it to you, but I don't think so. What, what did you just say? I caught wind of a rumor, so I thought I'd come and discuss it with you. It seems that Mr. Sasaki has been taking loans from different sources to fund each of his new bars. Did you sign any strange papers he handed you when you opened up your bar? Yeah, yeah, I sure did. He said they were papers related to the bank and... Yeah, he totally lied to you. Say what? I, I signed those papers too. The bank will probably show up at this bar to get their money soon. I suggest you settle with them without any hassle, if you know what I mean. Huh? No way! Help me out here, please! Huh? Come on, man! We used to be in the same class! Please! Hmm... So, you thought about saving your failing business by opening your own hostess bar, huh? It happens a lot, you know. You might have a good start, but keeping it up is tough. My advice, just walk away now. W walk away? I can't bail out right now. Can you please just give me a hand? Hey! Jeez. You always look down on me with such arrogance before all this happened. <laughs> it's pretty bold of you to beg me like this. Count yourself lucky I even bothered to explain all of this for you just now. B but but No buts. Keiji filled me in on how you used to be in school. Before you ask him for help, apologize for all the things you did to him. You're always only thinking about yourself. Ugh, I can't stand people like you. Ugh, I've had enough. Forget it, I'm done with this place. Ha! <laughs> but Misaki! Hey, wait! After that, all the staff at Mr. Nakahara's bar decided to leave and his bar shut down. The debt was massive, so Mr. Nakahara and the waiter and bouncer had to work constantly from then on. They continued to work in the nightlife industry, but they were limited to performing basic duties after a past failure. Their big egos caused problems, and all the stress turned their hair gray. As for Misaki, her careless performance attracted a particular group of customers who started tracking her down, making her struggle to handle the situation. While that was happening, I'm just here to make sure everything's okay. Since you're already here, check out my customer service skills. What drink are you in the mood for? Let's enjoy our drinks! <laughs> How about next time, we spend some time together outside of the bar after my shift just us two. Thanks for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel.